welcome to another episode of PQA, the show where you send me your tech questions and, well, I give you answers. I'm Alex Venz, otherwise known as Petra, and this week's question came to us via email. It reads, Hi, I'm having trouble getting good Wi-Fi reception in the living room of my house, and I'd like to know if there are any easy and cheap ways to improve signal strength. Thanks. Well, there are. What we're going to do in this episode is I'll show you how to make one of these little guys. It's called a windsurfer. A lot of you have probably seen this before, but for those who haven't, these things work great. It's basically a little parabolic reflector uh, to put on the antenna of your wireless access point, router, whatever, um, and it, it really does uh, provide a pretty substantial signal boost. It's also directional, so if you happen to have a particular dead spot in your house, you can tilt it around and actually hit that dead spot and you'll have signal there. Uh, anyway, first step for making one of these little guys will be to go to freeantennas.com and download the EZ12 template. So this is the EZ12 template. Uh, you'll want to drop it into either Paint or GIMP or Photoshop or whatever and scale up the template a little bit because obviously if you make them bigger, uh, they do tend to have a greater signal boost. So let's get started on this little project. After you've gotten your template resized and printed, you're going to want to cut the two sections apart, as I've done here, because these will be glued onto opposite faces of the manila folder. After you've gotten them cut apart, you're going to want to collect the rest of your materials. So, grab your manila folder, your aluminum foil, a can of spray-on adhesive, and some newspaper, just to kind of protect whatever surface you're going to be working on uh, from the overspray from the glue, and just kind of start putting everything together. Um, you're going to want to glue the template pieces to opposite sides of the folder, like that, and then the side that has the actual parabolic reflector on it, which would be the, uh, the, rectangular, um, the rectangular template piece, to the back of that side of the mineral folder, you're going to want to glue the aluminum foil. Now that the glue is dried on our uh, folder here, we're going to go ahead and cut out the pieces that we'll need uh, to put together the parabolic reflector uh, by just cutting along the edges of the templates using either a razor knife or a box cutter or whatever you happen to have handy. Once you have your pieces all cut out, what we're going to do is insert these tabs into the corresponding slot on the reflector portion. And there you have it, your very own windsurfer. Now obviously the effectiveness of this device will depend upon uh, the accuracy with which you assembled it. Obviously if the shape of the reflector here uh, with, with relation to where the antenna is supposed to go through, because you just make a little hole here and you run the antenna up through the center of the windsurfer there. Um, the, the shape of the reflector with relation to where the antenna is uh, will have an impact on its performance. So if you did a really good job re replicating the original design, uh, it should work very, very well. If you did a very poor job assembling it, it'll probably help still, but just not nearly as much. One of the great things about this windsurfer parabolic reflector project is that you don't even have to be very good at making tinfoil hats to put one of these things together. Anyway, that's about it for this week's episode of PQA. As always, I appreciate you guys sending in your questions, and if you happen to have any questions, don't forget to send them to questions at petristech.com or twitter.com slash ptpetra. See you guys next week.